Oh, hey, I can see you. Hey, it's working. Hey. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> I have no idea where we are. Where are we? Uh, C4 video game. I've got no idea. Anyway, but as long as you can see us, that's cool. I can see you. Yeah, good. Hi. Yay, hi. <laughs> oh, you look really pretty, by the way. Oh, thanks. You guys look nice too. Is this your place? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. yeah. Simon, Elizabeth, how long have you guys known each other? Mm. Almost 21 years. 21 years, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 21 years. And were you friends first or did you start dating right away? Um, we, were we were friends, friends for about a week. <laughs> <laughs> a week to two weeks. Yeah, two yeah. weeks. Well, hopefully you're still friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I think when you know, you know, you know. It's, yeah. It happens fast yeah. when it happens. Mm. Yeah. So, were you carving when you guys met, or did that come about later? That came about later. And how did you discover carving, if your background is in illustration? Like, when did that transition happen? Well, I, uh, after leaving my degree, so I uh, graduated from the illustration degree and didn't really know what to do with myself, needed full-time work, and a friend of mine had not long started the tree surgery business. Yeah, I suppose it, it kind of went from there. I learned how to use the chainsaws, I was really happy doing it, and then I saw somebody carving one day and thought, oh, hang on, <laughs> I reckon I can do that. How many years ago did, did you start carving? Um, it's about 2002. My boss that I was working for, the guy I was working for at the time doing tree surgery, he saw the uh, potential in it straight away and actually started hiring me out to his customers as an extra or an add-on to the job, you know? <laughs> yeah. Take the tree down and leave a, leave a small tree stump and, uh, for this much extra sign so can carve it. So when did you become independent and go into art full-time? <laughs> well, I went I went part-time in 2005. The sort of the catalyst for that was I carved at... They had the English Open Chainsaw Carving Competition for the very first time in 2004. I was invited to go and carve there. I, I was I was in my element. I really kind of it really opened my eyes to different styles and all sorts of things. And then I ended up placing third. Oh wow! So, yeah. so they they invited me to Ridgeway. I got invited over to the West Coast by Bob and Cindy to the Reed Sports and. Yes, yeah, since 2004, I've been doing at least one or two or three major competitions a year. I quit my job nine years ago to work yeah. for you because the business was getting really, really busy and you were like, I can't cope. I couldn't cope. I, was, <laughs> yeah. I was double booking myself and triple booking myself. Well, that, I have found that the the carvers that seem to be the most successful, it's usually a two-person team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The carvers yeah. that have uh, yeah. supportive spouses tend to cover the most ground, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's helpful. Yeah. So when we were at the Husky Cup, uh, we were singing around the campfire and uh, all connected over enjoying The Greatest Showman. Yes. And we yeah. sang that. Yeah. We sang the song "This Is Me," which has kind of become this like anthem for artists and weirdos, and you know, people who don't yeah. fit in. Yeah. At the Husky Cup, I had a great opportunity to work with so many of my carving heroes and get to hang out and just have casual, fun conversation. So it was really fun to be able to connect with y'all and like sing around the campfire and find some common ground there. Yeah. But it makes. We also, I think, like, kind of want more of that. So I, I wanted to see if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to carve some Greatest Showman-inspired sculptures. I would like to do Letty Lutz, who played the bearded woman. Uh, she was played by Kiala Settle, and she's the one who sings "This Is Me." And I love the bearded woman just as an icon in general. So that's something I would be interested in carving. Okay. Would you be interested in carving Hugh Jackman as P.T. Barnum? Uh, yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> The piece of what I'm using, um, I just got a beautiful piece of cypress, which came down in some flooding we had in Texas not too long ago um, in Wimberley. There, uh, the Blanco River flooded and it was pretty devastating. It took out tons of beautiful old cypress trees. And so the wood that I'm carving is from the flood and I think it's interesting because from the song she says she's going to send a flood. Yeah! Uh, that's that's just a little that's connection cool. there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's oh, nice, nice. Nice. Yeah, good that's connection. Good. 
It's always yeah. I think it's always good to, to use salvaged materials and salvage wood when you can. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah that's awesome. Subscribe now.